Kevin Barry alongside SU men's soccer players Ted Cribbley and Alex Bono. Guys, welcome to Citrus TV. And the first question right off the top is, last year the men's team only had three wins. This year, 12, and you're going to the postseason. What's the turnaround in just one season? Uh, it's a combination of hard work and, uh, and talent, I think. Uh, last year we were a bit unlucky not to get more wins than we did. Uh, I think we deserved maybe six or seven, and uh, we, were, we were unlucky went into extra time a couple of times and, uh, and lost every single one. Uh, brought some new players in, some freshmen, Alex Bernard being one of them. Uh, they've helped turn it around and we've kept the hard work up, so it's part of that. And Alex, you obviously weren't here last year, but there's, you guys are doing something right with 12 wins on the year. What are you seeing from, from your spot at goalie? Just from what I've heard, the entire morale in the locker room is just so much better than it was last year. Uh, the attitude towards, towards games and, and training every day is better. Uh, attitude towards the coaches is better, and their attitude towards the players I've heard is so much better. Uh, you know, we brought in some good freshmen, and the sophomores and the upperclassmen are also doing their part. So uh, everyone does their part every day, and we're working together as a team really well. And your first postseason game is going to be right here in Syracuse. How big is it to be able to host Notre Dame? It's big. Uh, they're, a, they're a top program, so it's going to be a hard game. Um, would have been even harder if we had to travel there. So it's great that we've had a really good following. This year we've had, you know, great fans. Um, that's obviously going to help playing on our pitch. Um, it'll be nice. It'll be nice for the fans. It'll be nice for the team. And uh, fingers crossed we can do something. How big is it in goal to be able to play in front of your home fans? Oh, it's awesome. You know, the people that have watched you grow up playing soccer and uh, people that have come all season who have really gotten to know you as a player. Uh, it's good to be able to play in front of them, play in front of uh, your classmates in school that you've, you've grown close with and everything. And uh, just playing for your hometown is just it's an awesome feeling. And a little bit on your background, Ted, you spent two years at junior college. How did that experience prepare you for Syracuse? Uh, yeah, well, uh, a lot of people question why I went to junior college. Um, I can't knock it because if I didn't go there, I wouldn't be here. So uh, it was a good experience for me. Obviously, the level uh, of football, every, everything's stepped up since I've come here, you know. Uh, preparation for games, um, the quality, uh, the facilities, everything's been uh, been stepped up another level, um, but like I said, it was it was a good experience for me. The two years, I had to work hard to get here, and thank uh, Ian McIntyre for getting me here. So it was good for me. It was good. And how does your experience at Syracuse set you up for your kind of pro aspirations? Uh, yeah, well, it's we train like pros. Um, it's every day. It's, um, we try and eat, keep a good diet when we can. Um, we analyze our our play just like pros would do. Um, so in, in that respect it is, and we've, we've got to work hard. So it, in every aspect that the pros um, train, we, we do that, so uh, it's been good. And Alex, you came to Syracuse and got to play with three friends that you played with before you were ever in Orange. What was that like? It's awesome. Uh, you know, you have Stephanos, who uh, I've played with up through the years, and he's been one of my close friends. And then you have Ben Raymond, Andrew Coughlin, who I went to high school with, uh, who I've known for forever you know and it's awesome playing with them uh just knowing their tendencies really helps on the field uh helps in the locker room knowing them too not you know that many relationships that you have to build up again so uh it's been really helpful having so many local guys and just even knowing a lot of other guys when i came in just from visiting and watching the game so that was awesome too it's syracuse men's soccer on the bench